This program is brought to you by Emory University. This mystery starts with two rare books in the Pitts Theology Library, a 1540 edition of the Orations by Isocrates and a subsequent edition of the Orations translated by Hieronius Wolff. This is a 16th century German binding made in Wittenberg, Germany, and it's dated 1542. It has a picture of Martin Luther on one side and Philip Melanchthon on the other side. This binding was, was almost certainly made for Hieronymus Wolf, the uh, owner of it. It's an edition of Isocrates' speeches in Greek, Isocrates being one of the principal Athenian orators of the fourth century BC. Throughout the entire book, on virtually every page, are numerous annotations by Wolf. Librarian Pat Graham wondered if the annotations were connected to subsequent editions of the orations by Wolf, including a copy in the Kessler Reformation collection at the Pitts Library. Collaborating with Professor Garth Tissell, Emory senior Ted Parker set out to find clues in the marginalia. He worked throughout one summer, supported by a grant from the Scholarly Inquiry and Research at Emory Program, or SIRE. Our basic process was that I would go through the Greek text and I would first try to translate the speeches to get my bearings and then I'd go through this book and look out for these annotations on the side and also in the text I would sort of go through a speech and record all those instances that could be possible. A lot of these uh, annotations are just summaries written in the uh, margins and those are less important for our purposes because it's hard to, to prove necessarily that a summary from, his, from one of his later editions derives from a summary from one of the margins. But um, one of the textual notes, if he crosses out a word in this book and then in a later book, that word's gone, that's obviously better uh, proof. By comparing these different copies is how we made most of our discoveries, mm -hmm. investigating its, the, the relationship between these notes and the translation uh, turned out to be very fruitful in mm -hmm. that we found that Wolf did use the annotations that he wrote in this book to uh, make up his own translations and his editions of the Greek text. Mm. So. Definitively, I think. Mm -hmm. It was very fascinating. Um, you know, working with the primary source, um, you really discover things, I guess, in a way you don't discover them, just um, kind of consuming um, the material from some 21st century book. Might you do some um, projects of this kind in the future? Oh, definitely. The preceding program is copyrighted by Emory University.